Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show. This is Keto Bob and I am your host, Shane. And today, this video is part three of our series in how to make a workbook for students. Yes, and in today, in part three, we are covering worksheets. If you missed part one, it was planning. You can go check that out. And part two, we made flashcards but today we're gonna get started with worksheets right now quick disclaimer i do have affiliate links down in the description should you make a purchase i will make a small commission thank you for your support welcome back let's begin creating our worksheets i took some short notes here I'm going to keep those on the top page to refer back to so I can stay focused and we can get this done in a timely manner. All right. So you can see the theme intro. I'm going to have a text title, theme image, some vocab images. I'm going to keep it all line art printer friendly. Some worksheets. I need four. I'm going to go with a uh, I could change this, but my main focus is some coloring, some connect the dots or dot to dot, a maze, and some word tracing. Oh, yes. And our theme for today is going to the pet shop. Here's my vocab. Let's get started. Okay. I'm going to come over here to elements. I'm going to type in pet shop. Now I used photos for the flashcards, but for these worksheets, I'm gonna stick to graphics. And black and white line art. So I can see something right here, right off the bat. Good. And let me see. Oh, here's some text. I can throw that on the window in a minute. Let me see. And it's called going to the pet shop. So I need someone going to the pet shop let me see uh, family walking <laughs> that looks cool all right i need to turn them around to do that i'm gonna hit this flip option and flip them horizontal perfect now i'll resize all this in a minute first let's just move this and make this a little bigger and take our text and resize it to fit on this window. Perfect. There we go. Now I'm gonna combine it. So I'm just going to drag my mouse over both images and select group. Now they're together, I can move it and resize just by dragging the corners in and out. It's gonna go up here under uh, some title text so here's the family going to the pet shop. All right. Now, let's do that title. I'm going to copy this. Control C, come down, hit Control V. All right. A little bigger. And let me select a different text. To do that, I'm sorry, a font. To do that, I come up here to this font selector, hit the down arrow, something I want to use called, how do I say this? Uh, I'm going to go with Bericito. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Bericito. Looks cool. I'm going with it. And whatever size I use here, I'm going to use with all the other themes I create. Let me see here. Good. Let's make it an even 33. Okay. I'll move it around. Right there. Move this up. Perfect. Now I'm going to throw some vocab images here. It's my vocab words. Dog. All right. Let's find a dog.
This looks cool. What else do we have? <laughs> nice. Okay. Ah, what is this? Like a Hello Kitty dog? <laughs> Might use that. What else do we have? So, cool. All right. All right, this one. I want some details, but not too much. All right, so this looks like a winner. I don't want it to be confused with puppy, though. So let me see. Anything else? Ha! Awesome. What type of dog is this? Pug. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll go with the pug. Okay, so let me delete everything else. I can select it and hit the trash can or i could just hit delete my keyboard there we go we have a dog and i want to make the color black perfect okay oh everything else also black and this black I'll delete that okay black right and this text should be black okay everything's black perfect now we need a cat. All right, let's get a cat. Some details, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, looking cute. Got the whiskers. We want the whiskers and the tail. I'm gonna keep everything the same size and same color. Okay, what else? Can it see all to get more recommendations? <laughs> wow, okay. Maybe this one? Maybe, okay, let's go see. Actually looks pretty cool. Any, oh. Wow, those are some cool line art there. All right, let's keep going. There's a happy cat, but no whiskers. Okay, see anything else? <laughs> Is that a lion cat? Okay. okay let's go back. It's looking like maybe whoa cool no tail not that big of a deal what is this showing <laughs> really okay humor 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 okay let's get rid of some of this clutter i'm not going to use that maybe this a cute cat why not hmm i'm gonna go with this one just because the line thickness is similar to the dog so let's go with it okay now we're gonna get a snake Mm -hmm. I like this snake right off the bat. We're just going to use it. It's cool. Okay, you can see I'm going to have to resize. I'm going to do two rows of four and then throw the actual vocabulary words below that. So, well, okay, what's next? Hamster. <laughs> the iconic eating hamster oh, this one very cool but no okay let me just take a peek what else do we have ah oh, it's got the belly in there I like that that looks like a mouse, 
Is it a mouse? That's a happy hamster. <laughs> okay. Mm, let me take a peek at what else we have. Hmm. I am liking <laughs> no eyes. I need eyes. Okay, I'm thinking this is a winner. We're going with this one. Okay, let's just delete, delete, move these over. Where's my guide telling me they're the same space between images? Oh, it's not popping up. That's okay. Let's throw this up here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Now I just need to make them a little smaller. Oh, good. Where was that? Go to the margin. Maybe a little over it. Oops, center. Perfect. I'll throw some text with the vocab here, but first let's get the other images. Spider. All right, spider. Hmm. Now, a lot of cool images here, but this is, you know, I need some line art, not just uh, that. I need some details. Okay, let's find it. Ah, a cute spider. Right number of legs and a little bit of web. If we make it the same size, let's compare it. It's a little darker than the rest it's okay all right so hmm about this wow it actually looks pretty cool might go with that let's zoom in on that have a better look whoa nice very nice. I'm going with this. Too cool. All right. Now we need a lizard. Okay, lizard. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. This spider, too. Oh, we got a lot of cool spiders. You can always change the color. You just come up here and select the color you want. Wow. All right, I'm going to go with the first one. Cool. Okay, now what were we looking for? Lizard. Okay. It's nice outline, but we're missing, like, eyes and a mouth, maybe. Okay, too detailed. Just want some... Minor details. Whoa. Really? What type of lizard? A gecko. Okay, I can go with a gecko. Maybe. What else? Let me see. Oh, this one has the eyes. That's cool. They're known for tongues, right? Maybe not. Let me see. Wow, we got some awesome lizard images here. Hmm, see y'all. Is it an alligator? Yeah, crocodile. All right. Okay, go back. Cool looking lizard. <laughs> what type of lizard is this? Iguana. All right. And this one. Black lizard. Oh, yep, it's black. Okay, cool. I have to make this maybe half size. Okay, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. I can always update it later. But for now, I think I did a craft, and this is the image I went with. I was in a hurry. I was just like, okay, lizard. Boom. 
and then we were coloring it with paint markers on uh, some construction paper. <laughs> but <laughs> I remember the parents looking at me like, what is this? A lizard. What? <laughs> uh, it's okay. All right. The kids had fun. That's all that matters. All right. And they learned the word lizard, and we did a lizard craft. This is my bad on maybe the not the best image. Okay, let me see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, is this what I've been looking for? Salamander. Yes. Very cool. Got the eyes, tail. Hmm. It's up in the air. Maybe this one, this one, or this one. Okay, it's between an iguana, a gecko, and a salamander. Hmm, let's zoom in. Get a better look. Whoa. Whoa, too zoomed in. There we go. That's better. Any, mini, miny, mo. Pick a lizard by its toe. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking, oops, the, this one, is it black? Let's change it to black. All right. Let's go with this one. Okay. Bye-bye salamander. Bye-bye iguana. Gecko it is. All right. What's next? Fish. All right. Fish. Huh? Oh, oops. All right. Home row. Get it on the home row. Okay, uh, this is a pet fish. So perhaps a goldfish? I may just type in goldfish. Save time. Fold. <laughs> Gold. All right. That's a cool goldfish. Mm -hmm. A smaller one? <laughs> In a bowl? I guess that emphasizes pet. That's all good. All right. Hmm. What's this? Illustration of a goldfish. Okay, they're both missing the mouth. It's all the only thing I don't like. I don't see the mouth. Some air bubbles. I'm seeing goldfish with a mouth. Hmm, okay, let's just type in fish. And the right goldfish is just gonna pop up. It's going to appear magically. Because, because. <laughs> That is awesome, but we're not doing color. Okay. Maybe we don't need to worry about the mouth. I mean, do I need to really care about the mouth? I don't think so. Oh, here's one. A cute fish drawing. Let's see, it's a cute goldfish. Okay, you can see it's blue, so we'll just change that blue to black. Perfect. All right, get rid of everything else. Now we need one more pet. And that is a ferret. All right, ferret. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Okay, ferret. Ah, 
okay like this i'm looking at the space here maybe top down would be better uh-huh yeah, i think we say vertical he's <laughs> got a sweater okay um let's scroll down give it a quick check if not this will be fine aha it's like outside on a tree doing some cool stuff got the tail all right i think ferret is a winner here or this one and not enough detail it's very well detailed hmm. Oh, I'm torn. What to use? Hmm. I'm torn. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Any, mini, miny, mo. Really? This one? Scroll back up. What are the notes on this one? It's way at the top, right? Cute, fluffy ferret in sweater. Why not? Let's go with it. All right. Let's make it the same size as the spider. There we go. Drag it over. Use the guidelines. Make sure everything, everything is aligned. What's right next to that? margin line keeps popping okay just adjust the fish a little with the lizard there we go and we can center these on the ferret and spider perfect and now we want everything to have the same space what was it up here? Point three. <laughs> Point seven. Okay. Can I get a point four? Okay. How about the fish? Okay. Now the ferret. Good. Point four. Good enough. Now we just minimize our scroll zoom out so i can see here now we're going to align it all looks good okay stretch it out a little more to be the with the hamster there and this one with the pug perfect i'm going to drag these ones up There we go. These ones can come up a little, making room for text. Yes. All right. Now I need some text. Do I want to use this one? Sure. Why not? I'm going to duplicate it. To duplicate text, just select it with your mouse or whatever and tap the duplicate box. There it is. I'm going to drag it down. Hmm. I don't want to be using the same size as the title, so I'm going to bring this way down. How about 15? Perfect. All right. Now, we'll hit the center. Oh, it's already centered. You can align it differently by selecting this. Let's go with the center. All right. And type in dog perfect 
put it centered on the dog using the guidelines. Centered on the spider, really? <laughs> okay, let's leave it there. Duplicate, come on over. Duplicate, is everything aligned? Oops, let's make sure, there we go. See the guidelines? That's how you do it. Okay, let me zoom in and get a better view of that. See, perfect, all right. And center on the snake. Oh, that is centered on the snake, okay. Duplicate, drag it over, center on the hamster, and aligned with the text, voila. Now, I'm gonna copy all of these at the same time, and drag it down. Place them under here, centered. No. Okay, maybe individually. Here we go. Let's try. Aha, yes. It's actually aligning to the text above. I don't mind, but the fish isn't centered on all that. So we're going to bring the one for the fish over. Okay, and here's the ferret. Perfect. Now let's type in the words. Mm-hmm. Just double click to highlight all the text and type in the word. Spider, lizard, fish, and ferret. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Great, we've got all our vocab. Going to the pet shop, done. This is the theme intro, done. You know what, let me get a tick. Let me say, a green tick. Why not? This one. Oh, let me zoom out. Maybe it's lower. Yeah, there it is. Done. Okay, delete this one. Perfect. Okay, now let's focus on the worksheets. Okay, worksheet time. What I'm going to do is add a page. I just hit this right here. Add a page. Now I've got four worksheets to add, two in class, two in homework for two lessons, okay? So, according to the lesson plan, it's five minutes allotted for the worksheet. So let's not make it too complicated. And let's look, I'm gonna come up here to templates, see what we have. Trace cat, okay. <laughs> Some cool stuff here. They got great templates. You find what you like and you just modify it a little. Perfect. Now I like this. This is great. I think this will be good for homework. So what I'm gonna do is change it just a little. This, I wanna make black perfect ah. just select the what's this the middle helping line and make it black ah, and move it did i okay if you do mess something up you just hit this undo Control Z. All right. So now I'm going to change the words. Lesson one, we'll go with the top four. Lesson two, we'll hit the bottom four. Of course, we could always mix it up. All right. So let me see. Dog. This is a cool font. I don't know. It's already in the worksheet, but let me see what it's called.
Do I have my huh? Let's zoom in? Okay, is that gonna work? Canva student font dot. Is that called dot? Canva student font dot. Okay, cool. All right. So we got dog, cat. I'll put cat right here. And snake. And hamster. And we want to keep it black and white. You can use color, but I'm going with black and white. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this. And these directions will have to change. We'll get there. Let's see. Uh, Let's bring these images over. What I do is I click on the image, hit Control C, drag myself down, Control V. There we go. Actually, I can save time. Just highlight them all, Control C, come down, click Control V. There they are. We'll resize everything just a minute. Okay. Uh, he's down. So I can just work on the dog. See, I'm going to align it to the top and bottom helping lines. Perfect. Okay, not perfect. Oh, give me a break. Come on. Yay. There we go. Center it on the under the D for di <laughs> directions. Okay, there we go. Just make it all the same size. Oh, I see what it was doing. See, they're lining to like the top, middle, or bottom of these lines. Er, okay. No worries. There. Align it center with the dog. Break it down. Okay. Stop. There we go. Snake time. There we go. Bring it to the center. Who knows what I want? Perfect. And hamster. There we go. Looking good. Now I got some extra space. We'll do something with that. In the meantime, pet shop. Let's just put it in there. <laughs> and I have a pet shop right here. Control C. Come on down. Control V. Just using my mouse to move things around. Drag it around. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see. Trace the words. That's all we need to say. Trace the words. And I'm going to align this to the left using this option. There we go. Now, technically, for workbooks, I would usually put the name 
on the cover page. But, you know, if you leave name on here, it doesn't hurt anything. And you can always just use it for a worksheet. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Looks good. This will be homework. So I need a new page. One worksheet done. And that was the word tracing. So now something else. How about hmm, maybe coloring? Okay, so here's my page. I'm gonna bring it up. Now, what do we want to color? Hmm. So I'm in the templates here. Get there. We're gonna look for a animal coloring worksheet. Ooh, farm animals. Oh, let me get more specific. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, ah, here we go. Small dogs. Oh, like very specific dogs. That's cool. Hmm. Like bonus vocabulary word. <laughs> a chihuahua. <laughs> oh, wow. A chihuahua. With a frisbee. Oh, that is so cool. You know what? I like it. Going with chihuahua. But you can't complicate. Can I take chihuahua out of there? Just type in dog. Okay, dog. Good. Okay, now we need two more worksheets. Coloring's done. Done. Oops. And word tracing. So connect the dots and a maze for lesson two. All right, now give me a. Now, what, what are we missing here? We don't have a name. Okay, so let's add a name. Let's just copy this. Come up here, Control V. Uh, put it above that. Now, to see the print bleed marks, hit File and Show Print Bleed. See? So it's just fine. And we can also show margins. Really? All right, cool. So I'm going to get rid of that in a minute because some of your images will start trying to snap to this line. What a pain in the butt. All right, but just align it a little. Good. Now let me get rid of that. Now, and for me, uh, one second, names, because a lot of homework here in um, for ESL students and where I work in China, they're going to take, the parents will take a picture and they'll send that to your staff members and gets reviewed and like, okay, whose homework am I looking at? So the name just saves time. Uh, even in workbooks, I guess. So I'm learning just to put name on everything. Okay, and now, just quick tip. Okay, maze. So I'm gonna go to elements. Well, let's give templates uh, a chance. Type in maze. Wow, we have some, okay. Hmm. Just find something you like and we can make edits. That's what I do. Ooh, a unicorn. Not now, but it is cool. Wow, this maze is a killer. Whoa, boss mode maze. Yeah, let's not do that one. I mean, we could. I'll go with a moderate. This is be too easy. I mean, I want five minutes, not one minute like students are finishing it before the other students even got the pencil in the hand that's this kind of maze all right 
How bad? Make sure we can solve it. Mm, where am I going? Ah! I'm gonna get there. Uh oh. Let me do it backwards. We. There we go. Oh, I was right there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Perfect. So that might take a good two minutes. Go find this one. Okay, it's good. Let's go look at some other mazes. Whoa. Whoa. What happened? Look at that. <laughs> I think they can solve it. But wow. Okay, maybe not this one. Got a lot of Christmas mazes. You know, these are cool. I'm just gonna go to elements, do my own maze and everything. Let me get rid of all this. Let me just delete the page. Add a new page. Okay, so for mazes, elements, I'm gonna go to maze, hit enter. There's another website I also get mazes from, but when I printed it, in a actual workbook wasn't high enough resolution so I just use mazes in canva now this is one kind of maze <laughs> maybe we could do multiple mazes that'd be cool help the dog find a bone help the fish find a you know a bird i don't know all right hmm can't delete. I can use that one. Looks similar to what we've seen. This one. Okay, so ah, over here. So we can. You know what? I like it. We can look at one more. Maybe this one. Oh, it's got multiple. Okay. Let's see what else we can find. Where's a square? Okay, we come in here and aha. Good. Hmm. Going with the circle, this one. All right. Dog find a bone. So I need a. I have a dog. Let me find another dog. There. There's a dog. And we need a bone. <laughs> Perfect. And we need to make it black. Oh, make sure you're black. Yes. And you, perfect. Everything is black. Okay. Instructions, I'll just copy this, copy all this. Control C, scroll down, Control V. Boom. Drag all this down out of the way. Dog will be, I can rotate the maze. So click on it. Find this, just rotate it with the dog at the, at the bottom. So we can rotate a little more. Oh, it's gonna be a little off kilter. Have to eyeball this. Maybe the no, the dog will help me. Okay, is it centered? There we go. Perfect. All right. Now we throw the bone in the middle and bring it down some. Perfect. 
uh, group it. I can let's bring this page down so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stretch it out to, to the margins. Actually, I can go a little bigger. So let's do that. I mean, all the way. Just go for it. Good. Bring it down a little. Okay, and bring the dog over. Perfect. Directions. Help the dog find the bone. Done. Okay. Got it all. Now all we need is a connect the dots. Okay. Got a lot of dog stuff. Hmm. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Totally messed up, right? The second lesson is these four. <laughs> okay, so let's just fix that. Ferret, fish, fish, perfect. Control C, I can get a different fish. What I need is a fish bowl. Get me a fish bowl. Ha ha, an empty fish bowl, please. If I use one like this it could be help the fish find its friends yeah can i get an empty fish bowl empty ah does this work no i need a ah maybe this one there we go perfect make it black Oh, okay, yes. All right, get rid of this one. Now I need a fish. Just taking a second look if there's any other fish bowl. Okay, looks like I got lucky. There's some empty ones, but they're color. Okay, I just need a fish now. <laughs> what one did I use? I used this cute fish. Okay, so a different fish. Like this. Make it black. This one, let's see. Fish. Okay, uh, gold fish. Black and white goldfish. <laughs> mm, okay, I need to type in cute fish. There's that one. It's another one. Let's go with this one. More details, more fun. And they can. If they finish too fast, color. That's how you do that. All right. Done. Now we make it a little different in size. Center to the opening. Voila. Everything's black. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now we need one more page, and that is a dot to dot. And. Spider, lizard, fish, or ferret. For that, I'm going to go to templates. Connect the dots. Any, mini, miny, mo, lizard. What? Okay. Gala. Connect the dots. We got a lot of connect the dots. Just need a pet. Hmm. 
Is this a broccoli? No, it's a tree. Okay. What else can I find? A lot of Easter. Connect the dots. Okay. I need a lizard or ferret. You can always just like make your own. What I would do to make my own, you take your image, whatever it is you're going to use, then you blow it up here, and you'll go to, uh, you'll find a dot in elements, and you just dot over the image, and then delete the image, and you have a bunch of dots. But let's save time. All right, come on. Let's put lizard right here. Lizard dots. No. Okay. Lizard dot to dot. I'm thinking there's no lizard worksheets. Okay. So I'm not having a lot of luck with what I wanted. So we're going to find something else. That's all you got to do. All right. Okay. Thank you for giving me a minute. I couldn't find what I wanted concerning spiders, lizards, you know, ferrets. I'm having more luck with fish. And rather than change all this and put a ferret in here and, you know, whatever. I'm going to, I just found a worksheet here. We're going to count, right, and then write the number, which I think is cool. So I'm just going to change all this. How many pets can you see? Count the sea animals and write the numbers. We're going to change that to pets. <laughs> and I believe I have caps in all the other directions. So we'll just make this. Hmm. Text was I all the same, I hope. Okay. Quicksand. All right, quicksand. Boom. Boom. Just change it to quicksand. Let me go see what the size was. 15.6. Okay, so that's going to be you. Done. And I need to bring this down a little for the name. Control C. Ah, wrong one. Undo. Uh, yeah, Control C. Scroll down, tip, tap, and Control V. Okay, so I'll bring everything down a little. I'm going to hold Shift so I can select other things too. Oh, first time I've done that. I'm going to drag it all down. There we go. All right. No. We're going to get rid of all this. Just gonna hit delete. Ah, no, not that. Undo. Okay, Look this way. Okay, move that back. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. Okay. How about this? There we go. Perfect. Now we type in our words. Four words. Spider, lizard, fish, and ferret. Uh-huh. Get rid of 
rid of these two. Delete. Now, is it all the same? Let me see how they did that. Should have looked at that earlier. All the same. Okay. Now, we need a spider. Oh, elements. Spider. Oh, if I turn it to black, it's cool. All right. And we need a lizard. Oh, maybe I can use that. Wow. Or... This one, <laughs> or where you at, salamander? Mm -hmm. I'll go with salamander. Okay, and now fish uh, elements. Good. Black. There we go. And ferret. Perfect. Let's make it all black. Same black. There we go. Now we just need to add some. Mix it up. Okay. One more thing since ESL here, I'm going to take this fish, copy it and paste it down below. Let's pull this up a little. That's better. Maybe even just use pictures would be an option. All right, now we need our spider. Control C. Control V. Try to make it the same size. Yep. Right there. Lizard. I'm just use duplicate option. Drag it down. Make it the same size. There we go. And now for the ferret. Hmm. There we go. We're good. Now we can go nuts. Oops. There we go. Let's just, how many do you want? Two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should do it. can also flip them around if we want. There we go. <sighs> Undo. It's going to flip them all at the same time. Never mind. Let me just flip these ones. Flip. 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 Perfect. 
flip, flip, flip. Now we gotta make it all fit. A nice little shuffle. Good. Now we're talking. Just shuffle it around until you like what you see. That's all we're going to do. Is it all nice and evenly spaced? Give that up some. Now, some adjusting to do. So if you have your mind set to something and it's not working out for you, just see what else there is and voila, go with it. Yes, I like, I like. Uh, let me fish up here. There we go, bring you down. I like it. Now you can throw some other stuff in here, like you know, marks. What would I throw? A spider web? Fish bubbles? I don't know. How about... Let me just get some dirt lines. I don't know. How about just dirt? Get some dirt. Graphics. There we go. <laughs> Why do we want to do this? How would it look? Uh, gives it some texture, I guess. Looks kind of cool. What's color we're working with here? Black. I like it. I'm going to keep it. All right. Perfect. All right. And you just write the numbers here, and you are golden. That's four worksheets. Let me get rid of this page. So what I don't have is what I don't have. We have a maze. We have word tracing. We don't have a connect the dots or dot to dot. That's okay. We've got counting. <laughs> so one big tick. Okay. Pets are Done. One thing you might notice. Shane, Shane, what's your target language? What sentences are you going with? We'll develop all that later. Uh, it could either just throw it in the lesson plan or it can make an extra page here. Sort of comic strip style with uh, not so much Q&A, but just things that would be said. So we'll do that for another video. So. That's it. Swapsy is the company I use to get my money from the USA to China and from China to the USA. Link in the description. Com Gateway, the company I trust to send my goods from the USA to China. Link in the description. Thank you for watching. Hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Zaijian!